I'm Tim Frost, I'm Chief Engineer from T-Sport Burnout. When I was 15, my father introduced me to somebody involved in truck racing. I first started as a mechanic. I really started from the ground and built myself up to Chief Engineer. In the past, uh, we worked for factory teams. Uh, after three or four years working for a factory team, we moved back to the UK and set our own team up. So like Formula One, you have 40, 50 people working on one car. With truck racing, we have three or four guys working on one car, so you must be able to do everything from machining to welding to aluminium welding to basic mechanicing to engineering and everything in between. My biggest interest is the variety of everything. For our team, we have uh, really strong partners, and without the partners, we wouldn't be able to do it. So this is uh, a really big advantage and a big investment from our partners' point of view. PE uh, helps us massively with uh, development of some parts, and without them, we wouldn't be as competitive as we are. Also for BPW, they, they invested into the rear brake system uh, along with us, and uh, from this side, we found uh, extra performance in the race truck. When we first mounted the brakes, we spoke with the engineers who, who developed the brakes originally because they were originally developed for trailer axles and we mounted them to a 1,200 horsepower race truck, so it was uh, a little bit of head scratching. Uh, and then uh, we spoke a lot with the engineers to find the best solution for this system and in the end we, we chose the TSB 3709 along with the disc and yeah, it, it worked perfectly from the very first day. With BPW, we find the partnership absolutely amazing. They are the best axles on the whole market, so from this side, we have no complaints whatsoever. And also, it's a really nice feeling that such a massive company wants to work with us and also develop the race truck with us. For PE, we speak a lot with uh, internal, so we have a, a basic parts package that we need to run a truck per year, and then we will speak uh, together throughout the year to try optimize certain parts and uh, develop also certain parts. I think we know every member of staff by PE because we we always uh, are looking for some parts or to maybe find a smaller part from a different manufacturer. So we speak to the development department, we speak to the sales department to try and find the, the best part for the, the truck. We have been working with PE for the last seven years, uh, with BPW for the last three to four years, and we are looking forward for the, for the future to stay beside each other and to continue into the future together. With Antonio, he is an absolute legend and his feedback is what's made us so, so fast uh, in the last few years. We speak very closely and he can feel everything happening to the truck. And if it's something really small, he will give us the feedback, we make the change, then it's a whole uh, learning process and then we can keep pushing throughout the season and, and hope to fight well within the top five. The drivers in truck racing have a similar amount to do than Formula 1 drivers, so you'll see them turning different buttons on the steering wheel in Formula 1. But in truck racing we must control the brake water and brake pressures, which is also switches available to the drivers. So from this side it's quite similar that way. For the driving style and the, the speed, I would say it's very similar to touring cars. Uh, with similar sort of uh, telemetry uh, mounted to the race truck as to uh, touring cars. So I would say it's more, more similar to touring cars. The paddock in truck racing, it's open to everybody. It's a really welcoming atmosphere and also all the teams inside the paddock, they all sort of are friends with each other. The competitiveness at the race circuit takes over but in the evening, we sit down, take a beer. So from this side, it's, uh, it's a nice place to be. We are a young team. We are very uh, efficient. We have a lot of drive and yeah, we want to uh, keep progressing and fight within the top half of the championship. Love it every day. Even when there's a massive crash, we love it. So in Hungary, we worked 140 hours in seven days. Uh, from Saturday morning until Monday morning, we slept four hours. 
We are living the dream. As long as there's, uh, for me, one cold beer at the end of the day and for Tom, three or four cold beers, then we are all happy. Yeah.